Hey, <laughs> welcome, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dead in Vinland, the game where we explore T. Broman's unhealthy obsession with pens. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we are so focused on these sheep that it is just, it is boggling the mind of the nation. But we need those sheep to become self-sufficient as far as I'm concerned, and that is the main goal of the, uh, of the next few episodes is, is self sufficiency sufficiency sufficientness self sufficiency well, we don't have anything for anybody to do this is quite remarkable because i, I don't want to keep hammering at this we've got water coming out of the yin yang here in a minute these two can keep pounding out the natural resources but i don't really want to explore I don't really want to keep hitting this, although the hemp is always going to be good. I don't mind draining it for, for the sake of the hemp. <sighs> but, that being said, I don't know what else to do. And I'm almost tempted to just throw everybody into the shelter again for this morning interval. Because I don't know... How is our food situation? I should send somebody... Actually, yeah, let's not be silly here. We don't... Yeah, no, this is silly. Just because I did it once doesn't mean that we need to do it again. We can make some traps, can we not? Yes, we can... Two traps. Okay, two traps. We'll make two traps. Um, Kari will hunt... By herself, only three arrows. Uh, we don't need the water, though. So Moira, you know what? We might as well. Lord knows we've got the, um, yeah, we've got tons of bait. Can we, do we need to repair this fishing camp with a rope? Oh, we need those ropes for the, for the, for the traps. So we'll leave it as, as is for a second here. So the plan of attack here, in case we've forgotten, which I don't think we have, is to finish the pens and then move on to improving this um, this uh, um, harvesting uh, herbalist area because it obviously is going to be very important um, in terms of hemp. Those ropes are, are pretty critical um, for the for the foreseeable future. This has has uh, the harvesting camp has become less important. Um, it needs to to repopulate itself, replenish itself. Um, but, um, yeah, see, this, this one drops quite quickly. The quickest of them. Oh, no, not as quick as the hunting camp. Yeah, hunting, hunting camp is the quickest. That, that's reasonable, though, you know. The little bunnies and, and, and deer need time to, uh, to repopulate, if you know what I mean. Um, it's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Next, roll this interval over. Get some resources. Move towards those pens. Does this mean we'll have pens tonight? We get to explore the pens before before bed. I don't know. That my, my obsession must be sated. I, I must know. <laughs> I demand. Yeah, see, we needed those ropes. Son of a gun. And she only got... Oh, wow. So she almost needs to stay there. So maybe we'll move our back up. Um, we get potable too, yes. Six. Yeah, we'll, we'll risk it. Maybe we will roll our... Um, back up oh, another seven hemp parvana we'll roll our um our backup cook there yes moira she will cook whatever fish she gets along with whatever meat uh only two uh, along with whatever meat kari brings in and then um we can set some traps eight i mean you can't argue with that those, those results are fantastic and we're gonna have to really start to hammer out some ropes and maybe look at um not using many ropes um for new crafting things well the only new crafting thing we will take um under our wing will be um that one that increases the um number of people that can that can harvest hemp and we should be able to bang out what we need um but yeah, also in the meantime, we um, in the last video when we had our, our tribute, um, we had an answer to a question that we had before, which is, will we ever have to um, provide 
tribute in the form of things that are not natural resources, but rather manufactured, and that answered that uh, answer has been provided to us, obviously, which is good, and uh, it makes things interesting, because now it's a two-step process. Not only do we have to gather the natural resources, um, we also must process them at the forge. So that's an extra extra step to consider, and, and uh, an increase in difficulty that I am very much looking forward to. Also, I don't remember if the um, mention of the smoke made it into um, an original recording, or or if it was part of the um, the forever lost commentary that had to be dubbed over, um, and I didn't mention it. But yes, I saw this in old videos um, dating back to like the within the first half dozen videos. I, I noticed that and just kept forgetting to mention it. I noticed it while while watching back um, the videos. And I thought, my god, how have I missed this? Don't know what this is. Volcano is at Bjorn's camp. Who knows what is going on here? But there's something there that we will most likely um, discover through the map eventually. Speaking of the map, we have a new area to look at. Let's check out this lake. Nothing really much going on here, but some strange lights. So we have two relaxation... Let's try that again. Two relaxation options. Two drink water options. A dive deep option. We can also inspect it. Strange lights are shimmering deep below the surface at this specific spot. You can't make out what is the cause of these lights. Sometimes you feel you see a glowing shape, but you can't be sure. When you swim near the lights, you feel a certain warmth. But like it was coming from inside your body, it's not unpleasant. Well, I'm going to drink. assume that relaxation will mean either fatigue or stress recovery. We're not in such a bad way that we need that drink water I, I don't really know if that's going to benefit what that benefit might be and who we might want to apply that to dive deep i just i want to know what's down there curiosity killed the cat hopefully not but we're going to try it we're, f we're far enough away from our tribute that we should be able to recover um any possible ill effects and i'm just I, I need to know so let's check it out we don't use enough of these uh, interactables enough as it is intelligence and scavenging Bloodwed so far is the favorite. Parvana has a certain a certain je ne sais quoi there. Uh, a 48 and a 44 is a nice balance as well. Yeah. So if we look at here, it's 108 divided by 2 is an average of 54. Yeah. No one else is really going to be able to top that. Do I want to respond? You know what? She's just impulsive enough and sort of... We're going to do it. Right? It's either... It's between these two. She's at 100. She's at 97, 98. Yeah, I think... It's between these two. I think we're going to risk it. If it's a scavenging issue, we just won't get as many of the good resources that I, or, or that I assume would be there. Which is fine. We'll, we'll learn for next time. But, and that's just a, a resource issue. The intelligence could mean the difference between um, negative effects or death of a character um, or not. Which means we'll, we would want the highest possible, well, I guess, more. But if we lose Moira, then we lose the game. And I think two, a rule of two difference there is not... Um, not that big a deal. And she's just impulsive enough that she might want to do it. You know, she's she's a little flirty. She's a little... Uh, got some antics up her sleeve. Maybe she wants to play around with Eirik and say, Oh, look how adventurous I am. And I'll jump into this water and get all wet and glistening on my skin. And she's going to try it out. You want to get to the bottom of these lights. Literally. You are drowned in them. As you, you're close to the source of the lights, you feel a warm hand grabbing yours. Uh-oh belongs to an alluring priestess. She's the most beautiful creature you've ever seen. She seems so unreal. Admire the lady. Yep. Yeah. I've never not getting, gotten a check, so I don't know if there's different color checks or different... I don't know. She's shaking her head and invites you to swim back up. You wanted to reach the lights, but now you're unsure if diving is wise. You look quizzically at her. She traces some runes in the water. They glow blue and make the lights go away. You gasp in horror, discovering what the lights were hiding. A dozen corpses. You quickly swim up. On the surface, you search for the priestess. She's nowhere to be seen. She saved your life. You thank the gods convinced they sent her. Blessed. 
And that's kind of irrelevant, but okay. And a level up is always nice. Oh, seaweed. I've never seen that resource before. Excellent. Let's check that out. Seaweed, seaweed, seaweed. A batch of smelly seaweed. You could eat that if you really, if you are really desperate. Make sure no one sees you. Minus 10 hunger, plus 5 depression. Usable. Well, that was interesting. Let's check out what the blessed trait will give her. Um, no, where's our character sheets? So we gotta go through here and then through here and then uh, traits. She's blessed. Plus 25% experience gains. Okay, that's fine. Good enough. What are we going to give her here? Agility. <laughs> She's quite agile. Mind over body. Call of wisdom. Bloodthirsty stabber. Agility. She's already pretty agile. We could just really push it over the top. I guess for a straight buff. Who knows, right? Plus it'll help our... Um, or herbalist just for the fatigue reduction but okay that's good um so we're into the afternoon now yeah we wanted moira over here to fill in on this and to choose a recipe and cook a couple of fish and all our meat and then we'll need to we need at least 80. there's 80 getting water so that's not a big deal um yeah you're staying on the hemp i'm sorry to say you can come off that though and if so where would you go you will go to here actually as strange as this might sound and just kind of get yourself a little recovered with uh, no focus no focus yeah that's fine so you two are there you're finishing pens absolutely you're finishing traps sounds good hopefully we manage to finish the pens you're cooking up our food for the evening you're just pounding that 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 gathering herbalist to, to bits there orange condition and and uh, a good third of the natural resources are gone and yeah, we just need more wood. We always need wood. So that's fine. It never hurts to, to put Iric on wood for a bit, as far as I could tell. Her healing skill goes up. That's good. Level up. Even better. Kari brings everything down by a fair bit. Yep, 9 and 9. That's nice. Her fatigue goes up. That's fine. She can take it easy later. She's basically so useless that uh, she can just sleep whenever she needs to. Oh, it didn't finish. We need another day. Or another interval, I mean. And only two traps. We should have kept some of that food. That meat, because we need to bait the traps. Never thought of that. Oh, well. How do we do on cooking? Moira, what'd you do for us? What did you do? One fried fish and three crap meals. Oh, four roasted meat and two tasty. Okay, that's not so bad. Fair bit of fair bit of fire gone though. I don't expect much here. Five or six hemp. Four. Yeah, that's fine. The resources are just so so far down that. But we just we need to stockpile hemp so that we can start to churn out ropes as quickly as possible um yeah so we didn't get the pens so we can't explore them right now we're looking at the end of day so let's just throw a couple logs on the fire here and uh yeah we'll wait to wait for tomorrow for that everybody else everything else is fine we've got water, tons of water we got tons of fire we just finish the day and see what these crazy vikings get up to tonight Kari, care for a little girl talk? <laughs> uh, oh no. I know for you it must be hard. You can only talk to older women like your mom and aunt. I thought you would be glad to chat a bit with someone your age. <laughs> My age? You're kidding me. You're older. No, of course not. I'm pretty sure you are. At least five, six. 
I said no. <laughs> Angry for two days. Oh, wow. Parvana's causing a lot of issues. So let's talk a bit about boys. You had a boyfriend back home? A fiance? A husband, maybe? Ugh. No. Uh, you can't talk about anything else but boys? Seriously. She's causing a lot of rifts with people. Oh, sorry, my mistake. I should have known looking at you. <laughs> of course, everything makes sense now. <laughs> what now? Well, you guys did kiss pretty romantically a few days ago. Don't worry, Kari. I'm sure you'll find the perfect woman to share your life. <laughs> what? That's not what... Ugh. You're hopeless. I give up. Yep, just tank those relationships. That's fine. Some weather effects so everybody gets a little extra tired and a little extra depressed. And an extra seven down on the fire. And the hunger. Two, three, four dehydration rolls. Very nice. Of course, when we don't need it, we get the low rolls. And then when we do need the low rolls, we don't get the low rolls. What are the odds? It's like the game is conspiring against me. Actually, that's been very easy because I'm on easy mode. Go figure, right? Bam. You're welcome. Bam. You're welcome. Who's next? Bam. What is, what is the drop on this? Ten. It's the three meals that have, the three stars that have the 0% chance, I'm guessing. So we're going to leave these 10% of three. 10% of two. These should not disappear. I'm going to see if those disappear. This is a little experiment. 10% of 10 should be one, right? Let's let's check it out. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We should lose no food, but I don't, I don't know about the crap meal, but we should just lose one berry is what we should lose. Oh no, because there's a range. Yeah, that was stupid. There's a range of what you can lose. I was just looking at the minimum. That's not necessarily what we could roll. So we'll see. It's just a little experiment. Day 40-something is a little late for experimenting, but it is what it is. So we actually lost three because the range is 10 to 40%. And we actually did manage to lose one of these also because the chance is 10 to 40%. 40% of three is, is over... What is it? I don't know. What is 40% of three? I'm not a mathman. <laughs> or a mathman. Or a mathematician. How'd we do over here? Anything get swiped, stolen, rotted? No. Very nice. So let's throw these out before we can lose more of them to rot. Um, yeah. You're depressed. So is... So is Irik. A little bit. We don't really need wood so so badly right now. I also missed a skill for Tomo, which is kind of unforgivable, but also kind of not that big a deal. <laughs> Let's see, what do we want? Critical hit, mining. Well, of course, I think we want mining. Crazy Berserker. Nope. We'll take the mining buffs. Yagoob is going to finish those. What are you going to do? Just get us some water, maybe? Yeah, just get us some water. Moira, I mean, your harvesting camp has, has replenished. We'll, uh, we'll do that, because we're not going to have a ton of other options for food. And we're actually going to send Kari out for some cautious exploration. Water, Harvesting Tavern, Workshop, Herbalist. Yeah, we'll take a chance and uh, and uh, roll this one over. Hopefully it's good. Now we'll be able to check out the pens. I should have set the traps before. No, I didn't have the meat to set the traps. Which means I'll have to send her out tonight. Grants three pens to store sheep. Enables animal handling activity for one character. We will sort all this out and take a look in the next video. Until then, thanks very much. See you soon.